Hello everyone, it's Xenon here. Welcome back to less, more Let's Play, Xenoblade Chronicles 1. Last time, we just arrived here. And switched off cutscenes. And I made a fool of myself. This time, well, we're gonna follow a path. A path to victory. on the map in the Ferris, but we'll do that enough time. Well, if it's going to fight us. It is really hard without the sun is now to see my screen. Sadly, there is no overkill. Right. This is actually where we're meant to learn about spiked enemies. I believe we have to go No it's not. However not Pretty Earth 
Kristen. Ah, there is. Ancient document. If there's a if we're here today, the monster will be flying about, but we're not. Don't want to fight it. So first of all, the fry gets to go. Yeah, it's technically better, but uh, hmm, I'm not a fan. I prefer having two slots.
soon. Just soon. Over there. Hey, are you okay? You. Uh. Shulk, what's wrong? Another vision? Kind of. I'm not sure. But first, she needs help. You're right. Let's look for somewhere safe. There. I see a clearing under a giant tree. We can easily watch for anything approaching. Okay. I'll carry her. She hasn't sustained any serious injuries, but her condition is far from stable. Do you know what's wrong with her? Her symptoms suggest ether deficiency. It's well known that Homs are strongly affected by ether levels in the environment. But I've never seen symptoms like this before. Hmm. A sudden drop in ether content in the surrounding atmosphere causes a reaction. Symptoms range from fatigue to nausea. But in this girl's case... What can we do? We're gonna need watertight ether crystals. I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from my rifle. Eh? You, you're gonna shoot her? No, silly. I'll fire them into the air, and the dispersed ether will heal her. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. But the problem is the crystals. We can't just use any old crystal. They must be as pure as possible. This area must have a water source nearby. We should search there first. I spotted a waterfall a little way back. What do you think, Charlotte? Would a waterfall produce pure crystals? I can't think of a better place. Then it's decided. I'll search for the crystals. Hey, you're not going on your own. I'll be okay. I need you to look after the group. We're short on water, too, so I'll fill up our flasks. Hey, good idea. Take care, man. <sighs> and we're forced to use shulk. And only shock. I personally don't care why that cutscene's there. However, thankfully, since we're smart, since we're going back here, yeah, grab it now. Quest complete. Huh? Uh huh? Who are you? Hello there. Uh, uh, hello. How unusual. It is quite rare to see a Homs in this region. I... <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. Then permit me to introduce myself. My name is Alvis. Alvis? Um, my name's... It's Shulk. Isn't it? Uh, how did you know that? Wielder of the Monado, defender of Colony 9, the hero that has every mech on running. You're famous amongst all Homs. I know you from somewhere. They're here. Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. It must have drawn them. Huh? Oh!
its movements before it struck. How can it? <coughs> it is a telethia. Telethia. They can read your mind. Whether you have a vision or not, if they know your next move, it's all in vain. You... you know about my visions? How could you possibly... There is only one way. Stop it in its tracks, then dull its perception. No, Albert, stop! You don't know how to... Huh? A new symbol? I suggest you stop staring. The sword is yours to wield. What was that light? The Monado does not control itself. You control it. I... control it. By the light of the Monado. I will stop them. And we get a new temporary point number, as well as a new art. Don't know if we can see it yet. Nope, we don't get to see it. However, we can look at all this. He has unbeatable six. He uses the claymore. Which is just a chunk sword. However, if we can view character, slide up. This is the closest we can get. Here's no jewel. That jewel was originally key. And that jewel is practically not a point at all in the story. <laughs> Though for some theories for another game. It is quite intriguing. Otherwise, yeah, no. So, because we can't see Alice's arts, let us roll. Learned Monado Purge. Purge of Musaurus. And then we get to the... The one art that I am iffy on. Remove Soul Read! Pura Telepia. Battle Soul. Heal. Seal it away. You want to try? A vision? And we can't do anything about that, actually. But I kind of don't want to. Do this! 
Yeah, we're not getting to see Alex Lurch. Well, you see now, Shulk? Hmm. Thank you. Hey, wait a second. More importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? <laughs> they were not the primary Telethia. Merely at spawn. The primary Telethia dwells elsewhere in Magna Forest. Is it wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest, wounded by a girl. A girl? The Monado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence. Of both the material and the immaterial. Alvis, how do you know so much about the Monado? Who are you? Huh? That's Ryan. I'm over here! Shulk, we looked all over for you. Thought you'd been eaten by the forest. Sorry, Ryan. I got attacked by Telethia. If it hadn't been for Alvis, I wouldn't have survived. Alvis? Who's that? I'll introduce you. He's the one that... Alvis? But he was... Uh, there's no one here. I'm telling you, he was right here. He even taught me how to unlock a new power from the Monado. Just you and me, Shulk. Ain't no one else around. You probably passed out from dehydration and dreamt this guy up. Come on. Wait till the others hear this. <laughs> he was here, Ryan. I didn't dream it. I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I believe you. And while you were having fun with your imaginary friend, did you find any ether crystals? Yes. Good quality ones, too. Perfect. Come on. We should hurry them back to Sharla. Hang around here long enough and we'll get whacked by an imaginary beast. <laughs> I'm not lying. Alvis. Who are you? An enemy that renders your visions useless. This forest holds many surprises. Not least creatures we've never seen before. And now we know there is another who can use the Monado. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to meet him. So you weren't just having a sneaky nap then? No! I'm just saying. You and Dunban are the only ones I know that can wield the Monado. How would this guy know how? Okay, locked and loaded. Everyone, stand back. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, she's coming round. All thanks to our medic. Are you okay? Where am I? Everything's fine. You're gonna be... <gasps> Get your hands off me! Ah! Hey, watch it! F forgive me. I, I did not mean to... Uh, sorry if we surprised you. Are you the ones who helped me? Well, something like that. Excuse me. My name is Melia. Forgive my indiscretion. I have not had the pleasure of coming into contact with the male Homs. Coming into contact? Hey, Shulk. 
You're creeping this lady out. Mm. Shut up, Ryan. This large one is far worse. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Melia, is it? How did you get here then? What, is there no one with you? I must apologize, but my situation does not concern you. And I shall not be divulging anything to common passers by. Duly noted, Your Ladyship. But if I were to be so bold, I'm guessing that you didn't come here alone. And you weren't just taking an afternoon nap. <laughs> and what, may I ask, are you doing here? It is rare to see Homs venture this deep into Machna Forest. We're traveling to the head of the Bionis. We've got a long journey ahead of us. The head of the Bionis? We were just figuring out how to get there when we found you. I see. Then permit me to return the favor by aiding you in your quest. Really? There is only one path to the head of the Bionis. It is the path that leads to Erith Sea. So, this Erith Sea is at the head of the Bionis? If you would be kind enough to escort me out of the forest, I will show you the way. You... you do that? Thank you, Melia. I'm Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Shulk? Ah, yes. Likewise. <sighs> she's a bit high and mighty. But she's a Homs too, right? Why is she here alone? Ain't got a clue. Ask her yourself. I'm not good with her posh accent. We shall travel to the Nopon village. Nopon village? That's where we've been heading. We reckon it's our best chance of making it to the top. Since inhabiting the region, the Nopon have been a great help. You can travel to Erith Sea from their village. It's settled. We'll make our way to the Nopon village. Very well. The Nopon inhabit a giant tree. If we follow this trail, we will be safe. And we can play as Melia. So first of all, skill trees. She has Serenity, which has some okay stuff. She has Reliability, which honestly is probably worse. Great, this is really good. Honesty. Which, I mean, it's pretty good. Really, her better skill trees are the ones she unlocks. So I'll be keeping her on here until she maxes out. Arts. She has Summon, Bolt, Flare, Aqua. She has also has Burst End. No. Summon Flare. Because I prefer to have this. And she has Spear Break. So. Uh, I might as well talk about her because before people say anything Melly's a very broken character to play as I can't play her for NN none none whatsoever it's to the point where Honestly, if I have anyone else over who can play this game, I make them play as Melia to try and rank her up. And we also have Monado Purge, which I believe, yeah, increases the effect time, which, yeah, is very low. So Melia is... Oh yeah, this is teaching us Spike. Yeah. I'm never gonna give up. Let's 
see if we can... There we go. And now we just have Melia. School trees. Uh, actually, we'll have Shulk. But we're not going to do many battles unless the game forces us. Or engages us itself. So, oh, this is not good. And now, if we do that, yeah, it's all about buffs with her. I won't say it's bad, but it's not my cup of tea. I'll be personally honest. She's a bit, and, and what's weird is I'm a fan of mages. I'm just don't like holding on to the summons. I prefer fast playstyle mages, which if you guys want an example, it'd be stuff like casters that can buff but also attack back pretty quickly. However, there is a boon to this. Manifest yourself. Got it. So let's say we wanted to stream edge. Born in a world of strife. And do this. I'm looking forward to the results. Yeah, that elemental, that. elemental step she holds, she can, can just kind of hold them. Yeah, I knew you weren't ready. Let's use Sembis ca case. Nope. But we've got elemental burst. So let us use burst end. Victory is sweet as when you can share it. Nice job. I can see this isn't pushing you at all. Reputation change. We'll need to max out. Well, not max out, but I believe we need to get to at least rank three of this area. But we'll get to what this area is called. What this area is. Reputation area is called. 
now if we can avoid the Ansel. We're almost there. Right, I didn't check her equipment. Uh, yeah, you can't remove this. And I kind of like that you don't. You can't. Though I really like her colony type gear. So, uh, no, that will not be changing. I actually won't be changing. I won't be giving her her staff because otherwise I'll end up using her future connected staff because I really, really like it. It's so good. We've got the village entrance. This is the entrance to Frontier Village. So this big tree is where the Nopon live. Ah, bird lady! Welcome back, bird lady. I wish to speak with the village chief. Will you permit us to enter? My pleasure, my pleasure. I shall take you to the village chief. Follow me. We'll get to see some of the best cutscenes in this game. In a comical standpoint. Yeah, Frontier Village, it's one of the biggest uh, city slash villages in this game. It's not even a village, it's more a city. Hum hum. Me want nibble hum hum. Hum hum taste pee. Hum hum scary. Oh. Nopon of Frontier Village. Melia Antigua has returned. I request an audience with your chief. Chief, will you hear my request? Melia here. Bird lady here. Uh, Melia back. Bird lady back. Bird lady? My dear Melia, it's good to see you again so soon. And you look so well. And what of your men? They are at one with the Bionis. They sacrifice their lives so that I might escape. But this is not my reason for coming. These Homs need your help. Will you be so kind as to listen to their request? What could a hum hum need of me? They require safe passage to Erith Sea. I see no reason to deny them. And Melia, what of you? I have unfinished business in this region. Once these homs are safely on their way, I shall be on mine as well. That girl. Something's troubling her. We found her half dead and all alone. But I don't suppose she'll tell us the reason any time soon. Maybe we can help. I'll go and talk to her. And Melia temporarily leaves the party. It's not the last time. Mm, what's worse is I want to do that. Granted, if this does allow me to. Oh, targets inactive. Right, Diddybad only comes up 
at certain times. However, we can keep this active just in case data back comes out. Because I'm gonna wait for. Pollen works good, but you got this. And we'll pass this Ricky's house. Target inactive, no. And this is up here, I don't need to worry about anything. Melia, you're welcome to come with us. Is it true? Were you alone in the forest? <sighs> that thing must be stopped by my hand. This is my pledge to those that have died. Is it wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest, wounded by a girl. Wounded by a girl? You don't mean you're going to fight the Telethia? <gasps> How do you know of the Telethia? When I went to collect the ether crystals, some Telethia attacked me. I managed to destroy them and get away. You defeated Telethia. Who... who are you? The Monado. So that sword can... To tell the truth, they were the Telethia spawn. Someone told me the primary Telethia is healing somewhere in the forest. It was you, wasn't it? You hurt the Telethia. It... Melia... The Telethia escaped from our homeland, and I am tasked with killing it. It cannot remain free. For the sake of my people and the Nopon, it must be stopped. Melia, we can help you defeat it if you like. Out of pity? No. Why then? It's just... I... I want... Speak, Shulk. Or I shall be forced to summon the Nopon chief to interpret for me. I... would like to help. What could you possibly gain from aiding me? I saw it. At the top of a black tower. You and I were fighting together. Fighting that faced Mekon. I also saw you fighting a huge Telethia. It threw me the first time and all. Forgive me, Shulk, but what are you talking about? Shulk can see visions of the future. See the future? And you expect me to believe this rubbish? Believe what you want, lady. Same as I tell all the non-believers. <laughs> That'll be me, then. Oh, yeah! <laughs> In any case, the only reason we got this far was because of Shulk's visions. If Shulk says he saw you in a vision, then you must be important to whatever happens next. And if you're tough enough to fight a face mech on, you're all right in my book. You've got my vote. A lady should not go unaccompanied onto the battlefield. Excuse me? I... I am quite capable of dispatching the beast alone. I require no assistance of any kind. My dear, I apologize, but I could not help overhearing. Their offer sounds quite reasonable. The danger extends much further than our small dwelling. Machna itself is at risk. And we shall provide you with the finest warrior of our clan. Chief Dunga, I... Uh, no need for thanks. He is the equal, if not better, of the Hom Hom. You do know we're listening. The chosen Nopon hero will await you below. I shall go ahead and prepare him. Please excuse me. A Nopon hero? Now this I have to see. Don't be like that. Let's meet him first. And we're about to 
Get another party member. Melia. Yep, Daddy Bear's not back. But let's go! Give up. I believe. Oh. Yeah. May I introduce Herapon Ricky? Yay, Ricky! Oh, oh. <laughs> Get off me! Oh. To you! Uh. Oh. Uh. 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 Right in the. to you this year's legendary Herapon Ricky <laughs> oh. <laughs> new hum hum friends meet this year's legendary Herapon Ricky Ricky live to serve <laughs> oh I love Ricky Ricky's so good Hero-pon, you say? Not sure where you'll come in handy, but the more the merrier. Sure. Are these Telethia as strong as they sound? Yes. They're quick as lightning. I can read your mind. The mind-reading giant bird? No problem. I can see their movement through the Monado, but even that's not enough to get the better of them. And we're going up against the daddy version. No one blink for a second. Okay. Eyes wide open. And don't forget that Melia is our only chance of making it to Aerith Sea. If anything happens to our guide, it's on our heads. The Telethia is our target. But don't forget about the person standing next to you. Dumban's right. I am in your debt. My weaknesses are all too apparent. No worries, Melia. Ricky has been informed the Dino Beast, what you refer to as the Talethia. Be safe, my Hong Hong friends. Ricky's friends, listen to Ricky. The Dino Beast is big and scary. Friends, get ready. Friends, help Ricky get ready. You want us to get equipment for you? Ricky's friend, right? Hum Hum clever. Friends meet Ricky when ready. Then, friends and Ricky leave together. The attitude for a furry footrest. Dino Beast is big and scary. Great. That'll come in handy. Is it just me, or did we suddenly become Nopon mercenaries? <laughs> oh, this music also plays when you first meet Vanguard. It's great. Yes, I'm still going away. No! Russia! Go away! Actually, no, I'm going to do this now. Because we can't get anything. The target's still inactive. Oh, so still a northern villager. Me? 
Warrior Nasha. Ready to go? Come, new friends. Ricky's adventure begins. Ricky, you do know where the Telethia is, don't you? Of course, Ricky, no. Melly, Ricky, here you hurt Dino Beast. I did, but only a little. When Dino Beast hurt, Ricky know it go to place with ether crystals. Friends and Ricky go to place with crystals. Then we find Dino Beast. Chief, tell Ricky. Chief, always right. So you do know a thing or two about this monster. Guess we'll be searching for some ether crystals then. Ricky, why are you the Hereupon? Why? Because Chief Dunga chose Ricky. He chose you? So you weren't chosen from birth? Friend wrong. Chief chose by instinct. <laughs> by instinct? Why, friend surprised? Chief have sharp instinct. Chief be village seer. So that's how you became the Hereupon. Can't argue with that. But he is kind of... compact. For a warrior hero. Oh, Ricky owe lots of monies to village. If Ricky defeat Dino Beast, village promise to forget my debts. So Ricky like being hero pon. And yep. <laughs> ah, Ricky. So first of all, yeah, no. Let's get that on. Uh, what, which one is it? Oh, is, is it gear but he's, but it's better? Oh, right. The saber gloves. I'm keeping this because it's dumb. However, Titan <laughs> Legacy Armor. Now, we should play a <laughs> cutscene again. So Ricky, uh, he's weird in that he's a thief, but he's also really good at everything. Even this may be the Jack of all trades, master at thieving. Uh, we want happy happy. We want this. Uh, Rolly Polly is also really good. Because if this cooldown is really low, you can get really good topple. Uh, Hero Time's good. Play Dead is also really good. So I'm getting both these auras up. But Play Dead gets first. There is some downside with Ricky. Want to know the big one? He goes swimming much earlier than the bigger characters. Melia also sort of has this problem, but it's not as bad. Sacred altar. Oh my god. I want to slap the knob on. You think this bridge is good? Polymorks. 
to try and grab every single quest sooner the better Oh, yes, you're appearing, Doba Doba. This is really good, and we can't, and this is part of the quest. Despite how silly it sounds. Me. Deriva, where are you? Oh, the climate, because. Sadly. Oh my god. Uh. I kinda wish every level had a landmark. All right. Cheese resistance. Oh yeah, Lapa. Yeah, and we can't start your quest until not only we get rank free, but also we need to do something else for it, which is progress the story. Well, there's Dunga. Yeah. God. Quickly do the time shrooms and then we'll end the episode when we get when we give Okay. tree yeah I guess I could show rookie street because but you know what let's quickly do that but say you want to do this because yeah there's some really weird stuff and this also this that'll be also useful that's also useful, but uh, yeah, no, they're weird. Change time. Change time. Cause I... Okay. Oh. Cool potato. 
Well, let's go talk to Didaba. Hey, Didaba. It's not good. Uh, just a quick check here. Okay, so I'm gonna give her all the quests, unless it's... No, but it's not the one. It's just random. So I'll go start gathering quests. Earning affinity and pretty much doing everything to get us to rank 3. I will not do certain quests that will link us to two sets of quest lines. Yeah. But, you know. But I will do any other quests because they're not important to me. I will at least initiate them. I don't believe Rono. Ah. Oh! Okay, no, we're not do Actually, no, I will at least try and get that. Started. No. Yeah. This is one of the ones. Yeah, this is for a skill tree. But we're not going to do that. At least. Not good to do it for those rewards. So, finally, I will, next time, I will, well, be showing what, showing what quests we'll be doing. We'll also probably doing a bit of uh, store me sorry. See you guys then. Yeah. Zinyo and Zuma signing out.